identity matrix, also known as the matrix 1001, it serves mainly as a multiplicative identity. Okay, what does it mean? Well, in our number system, for example, okay, the, the real number system that we know of, for example, we say that, well, 5 multiplied by 1, of course, that will give us, what, 5, isn't it? So we say that 1, okay, is the multiplicative identity, which means that when you multiply any number to this 1, you will get back the same identity, okay? So in matrix, this is the same, uh, this is the same, it serves the same function as our 1, Okay, in that it also is the multiplicative identity of matrices. Now what does it mean? Well, it simply means that when you have a matrix multiplied by the same matrix, uh, 1001, zero, zero, one, you will get back the same matrix. Okay, so there is the notation for this identity matrix, which is I. Okay, so I is 1001. Zero, zero, one. Okay, let's take a look at how it works. Now, say we have a matrix 0, 4, minus 1, 3. Okay, and we want to multiply it by 1001. Okay, let's um, figure out what is the result that we get. Okay, first row multiplied by first column. Okay, so we have 0 multiplied by 1, and that will give us a 0, plus 4 multiplied by 0, that will give us another 0, isn't it? Okay, so no more column, move on to the next column, right? So we have 0 multiplied by 0, and then plus 4 multiplied by 1. Of course, that will give us 4. Okay, and of course here we have negative 1 multiplied by 1, which will give us negative 1, plus 0, so that will give us a negative 1. And of course here we have neg uh, negative 1 multiplied by 0, and then plus 3 multiplied by 1, that will give us a 3. Okay, as you can see, alright, they are the same. Okay, it's as good as not multiplying at all, right? So we call this the identity matrix. Alright, so what is important here is that you have to realize that a, any matrix A multiplied by I will give us back A. Okay, and all right, any identity matrix multiplied by A will also give us A. Okay, so as we mentioned earlier on, matrix multiplications are not commutative. So which means that, well, in general, AB is not equals to BA, right? So A times B is never equal to B times A. But, okay, for multiplication involving identity matrix, okay, so they are commutative for now. Alright, so this is something that you have to uh, bear in mind whenever you see identity matrix. The determinant of a matrix can only be found for square matrices. Okay, now, the determinant only exists for square matrices. Alright, which are matrices with the same row, uh, same row, same number of row with the same number of columns, right? So for example, it would be a uh, matrix 1 by 1 matrix, or 2 by 2 matrix, or a uh, 3 by 3 matrix, okay? So these are matrices that will have a determinant, okay? But for O-level syllables, okay, now this will be the primary concern that we'll be concerned with, okay? So we'll be dealing with this most of the time. How then do we find the determinants? Well, let's say we have a matrix A, which is the 2 by 2 matrix, A, B, C, D. Okay, the determinant of A, which is uh, represented by this notation, or this other notation. Okay, so don't confuse it with absolute or magnitude from your, uh, from your vectors. Okay, it means different things when you're talking about matrix here. So this is also the notation for determinant of matrix A. Alright, so to avoid confusion, this is what I use most of the time. Alright, so DETA, determinant of A. Alright, the determinant of A is a number, is a constant, so you must know that uh, it is not a matrix. Okay, so it is a number, and you can get the number, alright, um, AD minus BC. Alright, now let's say we have a matrix B. Okay, so how do we calculate, how do we find the determinant of matrix B, isn't it? So the determinant of B will be, since it's AD minus BC, so A times D, okay, will give us a 4, minus away 5 times 0, that will give us a 0. So we say that, well, the determinant of B is 4. Alright?